that's a good way to de-stress. Please welcome our natural health expert, Bryce Wild. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. I'm not a very rageful person either, but I'll tell you, it really felt good to blow that steam off, I right? I think every once in a while, that's what we need to do. <laughs> I think it's good. We'll ma it'll make us better people. My kids are society. already hiding their toys away from me. <laughs> <laughs> like, Daddy, yeah. not the toy car. Know, yeah. So we want to talk about other ways of uh, busting your stress because it really is a, it's a chronic illness, is it not? Right across the continent. It is probably North America's number one silent killer, mm. leading towards heart disease, mm -hmm. mental and cognitive decline, obesity and diabetes it literally contributes to all of those things brutal yeah so maybe we'll talk about first the sort of anato anatomical aspect of yes. things so this is all to do with the adrenal glands mm -hmm. these two glands sit on top of the kidneys mm -hmm. we'll show something on see these two little glands that sit right on top of the kidneys here they are responsible for firing off adrenaline we've heard of that that's yep. the stress response and cortisol okay so this is about fight or flight we are engineered to be amazing fight or fleers. Yeah. Okay? That's evolutionarily mm -hmm. uh, adaptable, right? Mm -hmm. So when we have a lot of adrenaline, we're good in the moment. Right. We're sharper, we're faster, we're stronger. But too long, chronic disease. Okay. That's cortisol. So we start to, you know, malfunction up here. We get rageful. We get angry, which yes. is why the rage room was a great release. Yes. But, but there's other things that happen, and we know about this now. Okay. And that is that we put a lot of pounds onto our midsection, yeah. and a lot of the rest of the endocrine, the hormonal system, starts mm -hmm. to malfunction. Yeah. Okay. So this has also got to do with how the heart works. I'm okay. going to explain this. All right. A lot of folks know about the adrenals, but have never heard this. No. Heart rate variability. Mm -hmm. When we're stressed, where do we breathe from? Where do we what? Breathe from. It's probably shallow. You got it. Yeah. Exactly. Up here, apex. We'll, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. What does that do to the heart? The heart goes ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom. Never stops. Mm -hmm. It's at that high pulse rate, right? Yeah. What the heart needs to do is be more variable. Okay. Heart rate variability. When it's variable, mm -hmm. it tells the brain everything's going to be all right. So mm -hmm. how do we get it to be variable? When we take a nice deep breath, mm -hmm. the diaphragm goes down deep into it, right? So, right? The yeah. heart doesn't have a lot of space to beat, so it's beating faster. Yes. But when you exhale, and now it's got a lot of space to beat, it yeah. beats slower. So here's the rhythm. Okay. Ba-bum, 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 ba-bum. And boom, that's good. Boom. And that's excellent. That's what you want. And that's what you want. You want to so train your body into doing that. Exactly. Into improving okay. heart rate variability. Yes. So besides deep breathing, there's even some foods to avoid. Yeah. And things to take and also things to avoid and things to eat. Yeah. Okay? Before you get there, I yeah. just want to get people to think about the signs that they are stressed out. Yes. And a few things you say that you're having trouble falling asleep, but you are wired. Tired, but wired. You're Who? tired, but wired. So you are so exhausted. You want to fall asleep, yeah. but you just can't. The mind is racing. Yes. You know, here's a like tip. Like a baby. Here's a tip. If you feel that a lot, write the list of the to-do mm -hmm. down, literally. Leave it in the kitchen and tell yourself you will not think about that. Mm -hmm. You will address it tomorrow morning so mm -hmm. that if you wake up, first thing you want to do, by the way, is get into that deep breathing pattern. Yes. But know the list is on the kitchen table and do not think about it. Right. right? Just deep breathe yourself back to sleep. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now let's get into the stuff that we should be putting into our body to right. help calm us down a little bit. Right. So... Whether it's white sugar or it's organic brown sugar, it's, yep. sugar. it's sugar. It spikes insulin, and your body's kind of happy for the moment, but yes. then it crashes. Right. That insulin crash also coincides cortisol. Mm -hmm. And then the body is stressed, and it wants the next you know, meal or the next thing from yes. too much sugar. And so that's very stressful in and of itself. Okay. I like xylitol. Xylitol is a sugar that does not have a glycemic index. That means it doesn't enter the body very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's an alternative. Folks, we know we're over-drinking sugary foods, pops and sport drinks, right. same kind of things happen. Wine will relax you, or any alcohol will mm -hmm. relax you, but yep. too much of it, you know, bond that half to one glass before bed, mm -hmm. then it starts to signal the brain stress. So it offsets serotonin. That's the day cycle. Yes. You want melatonin. So this doesn't induce melatonin, all right? Got it. Coffee is okay, but if it's a decaf coffee, mm -hmm. uh, there's still about 12% 12, 12 caffeine in there. So nothing, whether it's decaf or not, yeah. nothing after 3 p.m. Got it. Okay? You want to go to the herbal teas. That's your, mm -hmm. you know, this is the good stuff. Herbal teas, your choice. Not green tea, black tea, or oolong tea. That's from Camellia sinensis plant that mm -hmm. still has caffeine in it. That's right. Herbal tea. Okay? okay, herbal teas. So here's, we're coming up to the holiday season very Eat shortly. Chips. You is know, that what you're going to say? Eat so, so many chips. So this row here... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the stuff that stresses out the body because yeah. ultimately there are bad fats in this stuff. You know, okay. We've heard of the beige, the whites forever, yeah. but that bad fat, that you know, the, the, the rancid fats will literally stress out the heart and cause arrhythmia. Okay. So you can't get heart rate variability out of this. How about some crunch with you know blue corn? Yeah, I love those with, chips. With flax seeds, mm -hmm. and you dip that into a lycopene-rich salsa. Like salsa, which is so good for the heart. That's yes. your go-to. White rice, ditch it. Black mm -hmm. rice, anthocyanidins. That okay. supports the brain-heart connection. There's literally something called the brain-heart connection. Okay. The heart's more relaxed, and there's a higher variability we discussed. Mm -hmm. The adrenal glands are not firing off adrenaline and cortisol. Okay. okay? All right. So there's also, you know, the pastas of the world. We've got to get away from these, again, from the refined carbohydrate perspective. Mm -hmm. So how about shirataki or konjac? Right. Zero calories. Put your sauce on that. You're still getting all your micronutrients, but zero calories from carbs. Yep. We're going to see a lot of this this holiday season. I already snapped on oh, some. You know, <laughs> so we know, we know looking at this, but I'll tell you, just by getting nuts into your yeah. diet, and there, that's the crunch, and even figs for the sweetness, there's the magnesium your body needs, the mm -hmm. micronutrients we forget about, calcium, manganese, boron, strontium. That's what your adrenal glands need to Calm relax. Down. See what happens to the brain when it doesn't get these micronutrients? It keeps wanting to eat, mm -hmm. and then you're still more stressed, and the glycemic mm -hmm. index is going up and down, and the insulin's firing out, the cortisol's going up, so yeah. what are you going to do? You can eat more. Yes. All right? I prepared this very special drink. I oh. love this. Oh, no. It's in Valerian. Okay. It is so delicious. It is so good. That is awful. <laughs> it is. But it works. Awesome. It really works. It tastes bad, and it works. Pops and Valerian. Look for that. Theanine. What does that do? <laughs> It'll put you to sleep. Not on the show. Oh, does it? No, yeah, you won't fall asleep in the next Well, you know what? If you're but having trouble well. sleeping, I mean, you should try everything. Calms the adrenal glands. Yes. Theanine, you need to sleep. A complex. You want to look for things like... Uh, it's really awful. <laughs> it is. It is awful. So a couple of other you know, tips over here. So yeah. uh, theanine, xanthianine, uh, rhodiola, wonderful adaptogen. These are natural herbs and amino acids you can find to help the adrenal heart-brain connection. And these are all natural? All natural, over-the-counter at your health food store. Okay.